Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. It is day six in our 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives. We're halfway through. And today, let's see if I can find myself, make sure I'm in the right place. Yep, today we are going to make two projects with a Be Jolly stamp set. I love this set so much. The only thing that could make the stamp set better is if we had some dies. <laughs> I'm gonna make you fussy cut today, but you know what? It's worth it. They're so cute. Little, little chubby Santas, I just love them. All right, let me share this over to my other page. Pull it up so I can see your comments. Hello, hello, Denise, hi. All right, so in case you hadn't heard, today is, oh, where did my, oh, where did it go, where did it go? Okay, here it is. Free shipping day, and I know it's backwards. Free shipping. Um, Stampin' Up does free shipping maybe twice a year, maybe three times if we're lucky. And this one was sprung on us two days ago. We're very excited about it. It's only today for 24 hours. It started at 12.01 a.m. and will end, usually they say at 11.50 p.m. So I wouldn't count on midnight. <laughs> Get those orders in if you want free shipping. Our shipping is normally $6.95 until you reach $70 and then it becomes 10% of your order. So if you ordered $100, your shipping would be $10. Today, your shipping would be free. So that's pretty good. It's like saving 10% all the way across your order. Um, the caveat to that, as I mentioned in my email yesterday, and I think we talked about it uh, maybe on Facebook Live, um, our warehouse is behind, just like everybody else. They've had um, COVID issues, you know, they, you know, all of this weird stuff we have to do. There's um, supply chain issues. You know, the last two years have been crazy. So be patient. If you put your order in today, just be ready to wait. Everything I ordered, you know, I ordered a lot of Christmas presents the couple of days before Thanksgiving and then on Thanksgiving Black Friday, I did a bunch of shopping that week and everything has taken forever to come. Um, so it's not just stamping up. I still haven't gotten everything that I ordered that week. So just be patient, okay? Uh, like I said yesterday, you can expedite your order. It costs $20. <laughs> I guess that defeats the purpose of free shipping, but that's only if you need something quickly. And their expedited shipping is fast. It is, it comes through even if they are behind in the warehouse. Okay, so that's that, free shipping. Don't want you to forget, there is a host code attached. Um, this order will qualify you for free make and takes, like Facebook Friday make and takes. There'll be three projects from either yesterday, today, tomorrow, or Monday. I'll let you know on Monday which three I decide we're gonna do. Um, and you'll also get the All-Star Tutorial Bundle for free. Speaking of the All-Star Tutorial Bundle, I just mailed it out, emailed it out to everyone who's ordered since the first. I did that about noon today. If you ordered after that, it'll come in a few days. Um, you get this for free when you spend $50. We're doing a blog hop today at three o'clock. Can you guys hear that? Can you hear it? They're out there. They're out there doing that vibrating thing and laying asphalt, literally 50 yards from where we're standing. <laughs> Maybe not even that far. I don't know, 20 yards is not very far. Hopefully you guys can't hear it. I'm gonna pretend like it's not happening. Um, anyhow, free with a $50 order. I was gonna say something, oh yeah, blog hop today at three o'clock. So this post will go up right now and then an hour later another post will go up because we schedule them for the same time all across the globe so um be looking for it you guys can hear it. yeah it's a low hum yeah that's um uh, exactly what it is yeah yeah fun times they were out there this morning they did some stuff they parked a whole bunch of equipment in front of my house and i thought please get this done before facebook friday or facebook live um i left ran to walmart came back within 30 minutes they were still out there i thought okay i was worried i'd get wouldn't be able to get my car in and out and then of course literally they just started it like 15 minutes ago they were waiting <laughs> whatever okay so let me flip you down around because i want to show you two things um we've done a lot of talking about the last chance list and yesterday we had some discussion about what has been sold out because everything on the last chance list is while supplies last um 
And on top of that, there's this confusion with stamping up. Some of the things aren't coming up on the discontinued, uh, discontinued, retired, not available. It's all super confusing, even to us. So, <laughs> Jody, I can't smell it yet, but I bet I'm going to smell it pretty soon. That asphalt smell. Blah. Um, so I was going to, I printed this off as our discontinued list and I literally printed it off 10 minutes ago. So I was going to run through and show you exactly what's not available anymore. Okay. The, the frosted gingerbread, gingerbread and peppermint memories and more cards are gone. Somebody asked me about those this morning and I think they must have sold out overnight. The stitch snowflake dies are gone. Um, the snow wonder stamp set is gone. Uh, which is surprising. Usually they carry the stamp sets cl until closer to the end. So that could be a mistake. Maybe that'll get removed. I don't know. Because they make the stamps in-house. I don't know. All right. But as of right now, it's on the discontinued list. This whole <laughs> this whole thing right here. The, the dies are gone. The paper's gone. And the ribbon is gone. I guess the snowflakes aren't gone. But I think they're unorderable right now. I, I don't know. I can't remember. But the stamp set is available. <laughs> Um, I was using this paper on one of our projects today. I'm going to change it since we can't get it anymore. Um, let's see what else. Oh, the candy cane background stamp. What page is that on? 35. You guys, I love that stamp set or that stamp. That's gone. Boo. And 50, page 53, almost said channel 53. Um, black glitter paper. That's a good one. Sparkle of the season bundle which is on page 58 you know this one the dies are gone so the bundle that means you can't get the bundle anymore i guess the stamp set is still available it doesn't say anything about the stamp set um the seasonal swirl dies um so that's what's on the discontinued list now i understand that this paper is gone too but it doesn't say that on this list so i'm not going to say that it is who knows maybe there's some coming in i know it's unorderable but i don't know if that means there's more coming or if that means it's sold out i don't know so that's that the moral of the story is check the last chance list order what you want quickly before it's gone use your free shipping today and uh don't hesitate okay um, all right, the last thing I'm going to tell you is here is Club Create. I am so excited about this month or January's Club Create. It features a new bundle that is from the spring catalog, which I haven't even shown you guys. You may have seen it elsewhere, but this is what our spring mini catalog looks like. I've been looking at it quite a bit. I can't show you the inside. There's also a celebration catalog that goes with it. That's that right there. And this paper... It coordinates with this bundle is free. It's in the celebration um, catalog. So this is the bundle we'll be using, Rainbow of Happiness, and we'll be making five or four bright and gorgeous cards and a little treat box. Okay, so subscription period for this for January Club Create is open. If you are already a subscriber, you don't need to worry about it. You're automatically rolled in um, unless you cancel. Um, let's see, it's $39 a month. I give you the option to add this on, and if you do that, I pay the, the um, tax and shipping for you on that. Um, there's also a cloud punch that you'll want to add on um, because the cloud punch will punch some of the clouds from the paper. And what else? I don't know. You'll get tw about $20 in product in your kit, and they'll ship towards the end, around the 21st of January. So this is the first day I'm really like, well, this is the first day this is open for subscription. So I will update today's video with a link or you can go to my blog, pinkbuggeroo.com and click the tab at the top that says Club Create. All right, now winners. How about some winners? We had two winners from yesterday who went over and answered the question. Linda Gilbert and Michelle Cunningham, they are both winning a set of pretty pillow box dies. I've already printed the labels. I love having your, your mailing addresses, so I don't have to wait for you to uh, fill that out. Maybe I need to do that more often. Um, but anyway, thank you, Linda and Michelle, for participating. I'll get those in the mail tomorrow. Today, I've got another bundle, Sweet Little Stockings bundle. Um, if you would like to have a chance to win this, there's a link towards the bottom of today's blog post and it is 
you click it, you go over, you answer a question. I think I'm asking about Christmas cards today. Enter your mailing address so that if you win, I can get it in the mail. All right. All right. That is it. So here is our schedule. Um, so far, we're on schedule. Everything looks pretty good. I may... Mary Snowflakes is on Monday, and I really like my Mary Snowflakes projects. So I think what we might do is use the other snowflake bundle, with stamps and dies. Aren't we still have those in the annual catalog? Anyway, I don't know. Monday's tentative, but tomorrow for sure, great tidings, okay? The wise men, which dies are half off. And then the Arctic bears, um, sweet little stockings. We're gonna do that on Tuesday, but there will be no live on Friday, all right? All right, and then last but not least, if you put in an order by Monday at midnight, you can order anything you want. I would recommend you put that order in today to save on shipping. Um, I will send you three make and takes for free. They come, they look like this. You'll need the stamps and the coordinating dies. Today, there's no coordinating dies, um, but depending on which three I send you, you'll need whatever product I'm featuring. Other than that, I will send you all the things that you need. The floor is vibrating. <laughs> I mean, it is literally vibrating under my feet. Crazy, 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 crazy. All right, well, let's get started. Get a little drink. Now, as you will notice, one thing about this card is that it has paper from that whimsy, wonder and whim whimsy and wonder paper that we all loved and it's gone. So we're gonna sub out some paper from the Pattern Party pack of paper. <laughs> pattern Party pack of paper. Um, and we're gonna use that paper on our second project too, but we're gonna use this cute little set. Um, there's two different Santas. I can't pick a favorite, they're both adorable. Um, so let's do our stamping first. We're gonna also do some embossing um, with these strips. And look, they kind of look like Legos, don't they? Oh, and you know what? I don't think I pulled out my embossing folder. Well, I'll have to find it. Hopefully I can find it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. All right, let's see what piece I'm gonna need for stamping. I believe it's this piece. All right, I feel like I'm talking to myself again. I'm not getting comments unless I tap on the screen. All right, we're gonna stamp him in Memento Black, okay? And he's pretty easy to color because most of his body stays white. So I'm gonna take my real red light and I'm gonna color in his hat with light real red. Okay, I'm gonna go back with my dark and do a little line right there, shadow line. And I'm gonna take my light, kind of blend that out so it goes kind of from a dark to a light on top. Then we will very carefully color in his arms. And um, yes. <laughs> His legs, I have mistakenly colored the bottom of his jacket several times. So I've got to make sure that I'm thinking about what I'm doing because that bottom needs to be white. It's the fur on his, on his little jacket. There's a little red section right here. And like that. And then let's see, we'll put in a little bit of dark under, you wanna put a shadow line wherever something is covering something else. So the jacket goes over the pants, so we'll put a shadow line there. His beard goes over his jacket, so we'll put a shadow line there. All right, now we will, oh my gosh, it's so loud. We're gonna use basic black stamp and blend for his mittens and his boots and his belt. I don't use the basic black stamp and blend very often because it is very dark, but it's perfect for this because he's got those black boots, black belt here. And then you just kind of have to tap, tap, tap your color around so you don't get it on your beard. Rhonda, yes, it's really good. It's a really good set. All 
right, there we go. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get my petal pink for his face. I'm gonna grab those real quick. A little Daffodil Delight right there. And we'll get light petal pink. <laughs> for those of you just joining, if you can hear some weird noises, it's because they're laying asphalt right outside my window today. Sounds like they're digging to the middle of the earth. I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's awful. All right, so I did, I used the light for his skin and then the dark for his little cheeks. And then, do I have my Wink of Stella? Yep, right here. I'm gonna add Wink of Stella to the bottom of his jacket. All right, and the top of his hat, his little fur, furry cuffs on his jacket. All right. So yeah, he's pretty easy. Now, I'm gonna cut him out with my paper snips. And I'm gonna go around and cut off all the excess cardstock. It makes it a little bit easier. And then you just want to stay on the outside line or outside of the black line of the image. Kind of leave, it, leave a white cloud around him and so I hope that you guys will take advantage of that free shipping we all love free shipping I I'm a sucker for free for free shipping if I get an email in my inbox for free shipping I forgot to color his ear I do that every time both of his ears um if I get an email with free shipping you better believe I'm clicking that link it's very tempting to me. In the days of Amazon Prime, it's hard to pay for shipping. I mean, I get it. I totally get it. But on the flip side, as a small business owner, shipping is outrageously expensive. It, it has gone up, I mean, you guys know, more and more and more every year. It's crazy. So having free shipping is nice. All right, so there we go, we've got him. Now let's make all of our little fun background pieces. We're gonna lay these little strips. I have cut two strips from each of these colors. They are three fourths by two and three fourths. This piece is two and three fourths by four and a fourth. And I think I cut my strips a little bit longer so I can make sure to get them all even. So I've got real red and then Poppy Parade. And then that doesn't look like it's straight, but we're going for it. Yeah, that does not look straight at all. We can straighten it up with the next one like this. There we go. Real red, Flirty Flamingo, Poppy Parade real red okay and then one more flirty flamingo so now if i have my well my paper cutter is gone all right we'll use scissors so then you just want to even that up if you're like me and you cut your things a little bit too big and then we're gonna run this piece through with the dots embossing folder. It's, they're called checks and dots. There's two of them. And let's see if I can find it. Yay, I found it. <laughs> I have a drawer right here of embossing folders. And there's a lot of them in there. So usually it takes me a little bit of time to locate the ones I want. Um, you know what would be nice is if I had my mini cut and emboss machine but I think it's way back there. So I'm not gonna build that right now. All right, so let's bring this over. And let's see if I can remember, what do we need? This is not a thick em um, embossing folder. So let's see, yep, we need a plate underneath. Hmm. This is what I have to do every time. I have to play around and see which one goes through. Is it this? Hmm, ah, no, you guys do that? If you look, it'll tell you. So 
So a regular embossing folder, standard embossing folders. It says, hold on. It says use one and three. So we've taken off two. All right, well, let's try that. I try to remember. I don't want to read the directions. I, I do not like to read directions. You're going to want the dots to pop up, right? Well, I mean, I guess maybe you want the dots to go down. Um, if you have your paper facing up with the Stampin' Up! logo at the top, your dots will pop up. And then you would want to do it the opposite way to get your dots to be inverted. Depends on what you want. All right, is this gonna work? Yeah, it's gonna work. <laughs> Usually I do the thick ones. Look how cute. Don't they look like little Legos? I just thought that came out so cute. All right, now I have cut two of these little icing borders is what I'm calling them because they are from the gingerbread dies. So in my mind, that's what they're intended to be. We're going to type, or we're going to type, we're going to stamp Be Jolly right there in Memento. And then I'm going to take my adhesive and run it along both long edges. And I'm going to pick these up. Let's see if I can do it straight. Very good. All right. And then we'll do this one like that. Mm, that one's not too straight. Let's get it straightened up. There we go. All right. And we'll trim Doot. the frosted gingerbread border is really cute. All right, now dimensionals. Are you guys talking about a flat rate boxes? Even flat rate is expensive. Oh my gosh. Is that Lisa? Who said that? $182? Whoa, that is crazy. Oh no, Cliffy, wow. Oh, yep. I know. Here's something that I will that will shock you guys. I was going to make beef wellington for Christmas and I my mom said you need to order that early that tenderloin because around Christmas they don't have the specialty meats. Okay, so I get on our little grocery store app. A 3 pound tenderloin was going to be $170. That's high, isn't it? <laughs> I was thinking, what, what, that, that's not normal. Yeah, we're living in a world of expensive things right now. Expensive things. Okay, I have cut out three stars. These little stars are from the Give It A Whirl dies. Needless to say, we won't be having Beef Wellington. Needless to say, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll call around. We have a local butcher too here in our area that maybe, maybe they'll have something. Okay, there we go. Little stars, silver foil, so cute. So stinking cute. Now, like I mentioned, we're not using that paper because it's gone. So I cut two different ones. I think this one's gonna be too busy, right? Well, it's still cute, but I think maybe that's too many dots. What if we did this one like that? I think I like that better. Both of these patterns are from the Pattern Party DSP pack, which is one of the things you can choose for free when your order is over $150 or your workshop class order is over $150. And done. He's so cute. I mean, you could just stamp him on white cardstock, color him, stamp a sentiment, and be done. He, he's just so cute. That you really don't need a whole lot more. All right, what do you guys think? You like it? I think it's pretty darn cute. And you know, I didn't know if I liked that paper originally or not. I don't know. If you have that paper, you could use it. The Whimsy and Wonder paper. Okay, next we're going to make a slider box. A candy, bo candy bar slider box. All right, 
And I found these at Target. They are Russell Stover. See the little cute Santa? He made me think of these Santas. Um, and I believe it's about the same size as a Hershey bar. So I would think that this would fit a Hershey bar. So it's gonna go like this. See, and it slides in and it slides out. Like that, okay? All right, so let's make our box first. This time I'm switching over to Poppy Parade because that's the color in this pattern party designer series paper. Um, so this is a piece of, let me look at my notes, six by six and a half pattern party designer series paper. On this short side, which is the six inch side, you're gonna score it at a quarter inch. Okay, and then two and seven eighths, which is just that one tick line right before three. It's very narrow. This box is only gonna be a quarter inch thick. Um, come on, Facebook, show me comments. Um, I've lost track, hold on. Then we're gonna, oh wait. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Two and seven eighths, then three and an eighth, and then five and three fourths. So very narrow. Turn it on the long side, and you're gonna score it at a quarter of an inch from one side, okay? So at a quarter of an inch. Now, there is one thing we're gonna use on this project that is retired, and that is the three quarter inch circle punch. You can use your layering circle dies, you can use a one inch circle punch, you could use a half inch circle punch, whatever you wanna do. But I'm gonna use my three quarters of an inch circle punch, okay? So we gotta put that in before we put the box together. So let me cut and then I will punch. So down here at the bottom, cut that little square off, okay? And then snip, snip, snip. I mean, they're just so tiny, don't worry too much about, um, I mean, snipping the, the edges off and stuff is just very, very, very small. Now, I've got this piece of designer series paper. We're gonna adhere that on right in the center. And then I'm gonna take my circle punch. You know, one thing I like to do, let me get some scrap paper. I, If I just punch this, the likelihood of it being in the right place is pretty low. Um, so I'm gonna punch a circle and I'm gonna put it where I want it, like that. And then it kind of shows me where to go. That way I'm not just guessing and then screwing it up and having to do it over, all right? Now, the next thing is we want a circle on the back side to be in the exact same place. So I'm gonna get my pencil and just draw in that circle. I didn't do a very good job the first time. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're not gonna see it really, but I want it somewhat in the right place. All right, now I'm gonna get my tear and tape, which is a quarter inch wide, so it'll fit perfectly on our tab here. And it actually is probably gonna be a slight slightly a little bit bigger, wider, but I can just fold it over. Yeah, because I didn't go straight. Okay. There we go. And then what you can do is, it, see how it's hanging over? Just take it and fold it in like that. Okay. And then let's see, how do I want that? We'll put the other adhesive, the other piece, right here on this, oh, come on, on this. My gosh, I almost cut my finger. Right here. Okay, come on, behave. Oh, good gracious, come on. 
All right, well then fine. If you're gonna be stubborn, I will come down here to this side, which is being somewhat stubborn too. All right, now fold, fold, fold. Now just take everything and it sandwiches over this one like that. And you know, one thing you can do, if you need a firm, like a firm edge in there, you can put this in like that, and then you'll be able to press that down. Okay, slide it in. Put the little side ones in like that. So it's closed on the bottom. I've seen candy bar sliders with open bottoms, which you could do, because we're gonna attach this ribbon to it so it won't fall out. All right, so see, there's that. So to make it a slider, you're gonna get your ribbon and fold your ribbon over like that, although it covers up his face. <laughs> Sorry, Santa. And then you, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Go in from the top and out through the hole right there. And then slide it down like that. And if you can, Take your scissors or your take your pick tool and pull it out through that hole. So see how it's coming out of the holes? Okay, get them even. And then tie your bow at the top. I love this ribbon. This is the gold ribbon. Oh, what's it called? Three eighths inch shimmer gold ribbon. All right, so there we have the main construction. Now let's do our stamping. And where are my pieces? This time, we're not gonna fussy cut Santa. We're gonna stamp him. Hold on, let me get all my pieces. Get everything out of the way. Everything out of the way. We're gonna stamp him on this basic white label. And we're gonna we're gonna fussy cut the tree. Sorry, you don't get out of fussy cutting. <laughs> you still gotta fussy cut the tree. And I'm gonna have him kind of leaning over, peeking out from behind the tree. So kind of like that. It's okay if he goes off the edge a little bit. And then stamp the tree on basic white. Grab all my markers. And like I said, we are doing, um, I kind of went pretty far with him over. I'm doing, um, hello, what is this color called? Poppy Parade. And you know, his hat is cut off because he's leaning so far over. So if you do that, what you could do is stamp the hat or stamp him on scrap and just cut the hat off and put it there so it hangs off too. Or you could just leave it. I don't know, I don't like the fact that the round part of his hat is missing. I may have to do that. All right, so a little bit of this, and really you don't need to worry about this side over here because most of it's gonna be covered up by the tree. Oh, I didn't do that part. Ah, I'm getting messy because I'm trying to hurry. Okay, basic black for his left side. Oh, Erica, slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm glad you guys aren't zoomed in, so you can't really see. <laughs> it's a little bit out of the lines. Oh, wrong end. Okay. You know, while I have this marker out, I think I'll come over here and add some color to those bulbs. Um, petal pink for his face. And is this dark? Yep. And I think this time I will actually color his ear. I'll remember to color his ear. Okay. There we go. Give him his rosy cheek on the left side. Now for the tree, let's finish by adding a little bit of 
color to these ornaments. This is Poppy Parade. That was Daffodil. And then I'm gonna use Pool Party. I guess I should have done the Stars Daffodil, but oh well, it's fine. And now, Granny Apple Green for our tree. The reason I have chosen these colors is because these are the colors that are mostly over here. Actually, I should have colored the, the yellow with pumpkin pie. I do have my pumpkin pie over here because yellow is not in this paper. It's pumpkin pie. Although it doesn't really matter. It, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's nice that it all coordinates, but if one color doesn't, you'll be just fine. Oh, I need my glasses. I got glasses. I don't know if I told you guys that. They're for reading, but when I do this, I do need them. I need to keep them in here. All right, go around and around and around. And then you can get your dark. If you guys are commenting, I don't see any of it. Facebook is not giving me any indication that people are commenting. I'm gonna do some dark over here so that this side of the tree looks like it's kind of in shadow. And then I'll take my light, color all that in like that. All right, last but not least, we need to color that trunk and I'll use soft suede. There we go. Okay. This one's pretty easy to, to fussy cut. Oh, and you know what? We need a snowflake. I didn't grab my snowflakes. All right, around and around we go, staying on the outside, using your opposite hand to turn. Turn, turn, turn. And then we'll cover up our Santa like he's peeking around the Christmas tree. Yep. All right, so we'll put that right there with some dimensionals. But before we finish this, let me grab those super cute snowflakes. Look, I'm covering up where I got out of the lines too. Oh, I gotta go up a little bit further to cover his hand. There we go. All right, so these snowflakes, they're called Wonderful Snowflakes. They're either on low inventory or unorderable, I'm not sure, and they're only $6. They come like this, they're laser cut, and you just pop them out. It's like the easy button. All right, now I have a um, Poppy Parade, stitched so sweetly, rectangle, and I'm gonna put it right there. It's the second largest rectangle, it's not the largest. And then we will put our little Santa right there. And then we have a flirty flamingo stitched rectangle, and we're gonna stamp the a merry hello let's see do you think i can do it straight let me see if it's stamped straight first yes it does okay let's see if i can do this wow oh, it's yeah meh it's all right it'll do now let's get a dimensional and i did these a little bit kind of wonky that's too high I didn't have this centered okay I put it off to the right a little bit there's no PDFs for these projects I'm doing Facebook lives 12 days and basically in a row so I am NOT typing directions for these 24 projects is a quite a bit to come up with and I had to simplify it some way. So there's no PDF, just the video. The measurements are on my blog. And then the Merry Hello goes that way. All right, and there you have it. Isn't he cute peeking out from behind the tree? 
He's so cute. I love him. All right, so candy bar from Target. I feel pretty confident that you could also use a Hershey's candy bar. Um, if not, you could adjust the measurements just a bit, but I think that would probably fit most of those flat rectangle candy bars. All right, day six is done. There are your two Be Jolly um, projects. If you have the Be Jolly stamp set, I do have a PDF in my PDF store from my Be Jolly class to go. If you're looking for five more card designs using that, um, what else was I gonna say? I don't know. All right, that's it. In 15 minutes, another blog post goes up. So if you have to, when you, with, with my new blog, when you go to pinkbuckaroo.com, you can see, it's like a grid of all the recent blog posts. So you'll be able to see this one. It probably won't be the most recent one. Well, in 15 minutes, it won't be. There'll be another new one. But we'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place um, with the Three Wise Men stamp set. All right? All right, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great afternoon. Bye.